waiting for this opportunity to get the transplant for pretty much my whole life. And because of the VSD, my lungs, I developed um, Enzymiker syndrome, which is pulmonary hypertension. And that caused the lungs over the years to deteriorate. So the only option was transplant. For somebody with a congenital heart disease, I didn't let it bother me. I did everything. Went to school, it worked. I got married, kids. Until I got on oxygen, that's when my health started really deteriorating. As we got to know Ben, we realized that at this point, in order to really give him the years that he wanted to spend with his family, we were going to have to do something more dramatic. And luckily, this was exactly the time at which we had managed to begin the heart lung transplant program here at Mass General Hospital. Mr. Brisson was the first uh, heart lung transplant recipient in our program. Really one of the main reasons we perform lung transplant, and especially combined heart lung transplant, is, is really for quality of life purposes. Uh, we are taking patients who have significant functional limitation, very poor quality of life, and giving them a very normal life. At this time, we're the only program in New England performing a combined heart lung transplantation. To have this type of com complicated program, you really need to have a number of factors. You need, first, you need to have you know, the commitment of the hospital leadership to be able to be willing to uh, commit the resources uh, to support this type of program. And we have a tremendous amount of support from, from our hospital leadership here at Mass General Hospital. The second is you have to recruit the expertise in both the medical side and the surgical side to be able to support this type of surgical procedure. Ben has been a remarkable story. Uh, he, uh, he waited quite a long time for this transplant. Uh, during that time, he was uh, quite a soldier. He uh, was in the hospital for several months waiting for this. Uh, he was too sick to go home. Try to stay positive, it's hard, especially when you're away from family. My goal was my kids. I figured if I can get a better life with them to play around, you know, run around and all that stuff I couldn't do before, that was my goal. And it drove me every day. I didn't let it stress myself out because there was nothing I could do about it. Just wait my turn and it happened. do a heart uh, double lung uh, transplant, uh, the heart and the lungs are attached. You do not detach them. So the, uh, the, when you start the implantation, you basically have an empty chest and you put the, the heart and the, you slide the lungs into the pearl spaces and then the heart goes up on top as normal. So it's basically attaching the, uh, the vessels and the airway uh, to, the, uh, to the lungs and that's basically it. The operation itself went quite well uh, and was actually uh, the heart and the lungs uh, worked uh, beautifully right away. It's the first time it's been done at the MGH, uh, so there's quite a need uh, for these patients uh, who need a heart and uh, lung uh, transplant. People tell me when I say I'm at the MGH, like you're in the best place in the world, and I do have the best doctors in the world. I always felt that they were angels sent to help him, and if it wasn't for them, and God's blessing, we wouldn't be here today. Very, very blessed that these doctors came into our life and they guided us here. It really uh, has been quite a, quite an experience for all of us. It's you know the type of experience that really reminds you why, why we actually got into this field uh, to begin with, and you know what keeps us smiling every day you know, through some of the difficulties that we face. Uh, it's amazing to know that I can move around without worrying about breathing especially climbing upstairs, taking a shower, the little things. So I just feel like I could conquer the world.